I'd always liked the idea of um, working for the NHS. Working benefits were quite good for the NHS as well as, you know, you're helping people that way. And in order to have a good career and wanting to work in a laboratory, biomedical scientists seemed like the most obvious route to take. So when I was told about the apprenticeship programme being fully funded and having one day off a week to study, I jumped at the opportunity. I spoke to our training officer about how I can advance my career, go beyond band three, band four. She was like, well, this programme exists if you like. Would you like to do it? I jumped at the opportunity, had interviews with Mark and Audrey, and here I am now. Our learners are derived from a number of NHS healthcare trusts across the region. Uh, They are usually in a position of being a medical laboratory assistant or a trainee biomedical scientist. Now, this is a degree apprenticeship programme. It runs throughout the calendar year, not just the academic year, which full-time programmes run over. Much of the learning will be asynchronous and online. So apprentices have the choice to allocate their their study time as best suits them and their employer. Uh, At this point, I should say that we were commended by the Institute of Biomedical Science for offering flexibility to as and when the apprentices will study the academic content. So I normally try and get three or four lectures done each day of the weekend, plus we sometimes get mini quizzes where they're just 10, 20 questions, get an hour to complete them in, but they very rarely take that long. And then the one day study a week really helps. That's when I also get a lot of lectures done. They're working not only within the lab, they're doing their course at the same time. It provides a much more rounded biomedical scientist at the end of the course um, because they've had that additional laboratory experience. They're training on the job at the same time. Our apprentices do a lot of learning on the job. They develop the skills that they need to become a biomedical scientist in their current role. And this gets discussed at quarterly progress review meeting. And we will set personal objectives for development this way. I work in the virology department of the Norfolk and Norwich University. And so, yeah, I could be all over in the lab testing for different infections. And now being on the apprenticeship, I get one day a week study. It's providing a really good link between the hospital and the university, providing all of the academic components that they need to be able to become biomedical scientists, whilst we're providing the um, vocational support. So our apprentices are surrounded by a support network. Support is really good here. Everyone I work with has pretty much done a biomedical science degree, bar a few in the department. So we have a full training structure in place for them. We also offer mentorship for them, so they are allocated a mentor when they start the course. And we also have um, periodic quarterly reviews with both the student and the University of East Anglia just to monitor their progress. And then the support from the UEA is really good. You can email a lecturer if you're ever stuck and they will answer any questions and help you or sometimes point you in the right direction, say, I don't quite understand this here, look at this video instead. And like all students at UEA, our apprentices benefit from our exceptional careers service and they are supported up to three years after their graduation. Their work is at the cutting edge of microbiology. Norwich is a fantastic place to study microbiology. More broadly, beyond uh, microbiology, the Norwich Research Park, which UEA is at the centre of, uh, the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital, uh, are both surrounded by a number of world-leading research institutes and this makes the Norwich Research Park a world-class environment to study biomedicine and also biomedical science and this is essentially putting into practice uh, a lot of the theory and knowledge that they've learned in lectures and where they can uh, train to uh, perform and behave like a biomedical scientist in the workplace. We've got it working really well so that The modules are really applicable to um, working within a diagnostic lab and I think that's the main selling point of the apprenticeship model is that we are creating biomedical scientists of the future. We're not just giving people a biomedical science degree, we're actually shaping them into being biomedical scientists.